your people have been telling you not to cuss. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You just dropped every... You owe about $100 right now to the swear jar. Yeah, $100. You owe $100 to the swear jar. I took Treyway. No, you was every MF in the book just now. Are we ready? Yeah. I think we got plenty of tacos. There's a lot of tacos. Oh. There's like 487 tacos here. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how we going to eat all these tacos, but we going to do it. And talk about your boy Clint. 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 The little dragon boy. You said he was drunk, huh? Yeah, drunk boy. Why do you say that? He's a he's a drunk. You could just tell. Why do you say that? I can't tell he's drunk? I could tell. Really? I mean, he's been arrested like several times for drunk driving. He crashed in that place, uh, that park, that little park while he was driving home. Yeah, he's been a drunk. He's been arrested a he few times. He crashed. For, yeah, he's been arrested a few times for drunk driving. What's the tea on that? I didn't know that. You like, didn't know that? No. Oh, yeah. He's a drunk so for real. So he crashed into some place? A couple times. <laughs> wow. Wow. I thought you were love after like a aficionado. I am. And I know you told me he had like issues. He's like a, a he's DUI. A, a, yes. A DWI. He's a couple of them. With, matter of fact, he had one in 16 and no, he had one in 18 and no, 17 and 18. So last year. Yeah. While he was with Tracy. Yeah, while well, he was courting her while she was in the lockup. Did he get one after she got out too? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Mm. Interesting. Because I keep thinking he's on something else. I'm he sorry. is on that alcohol. I, no, no, no. Like, I think even in the chat, somebody said... Um, he's like on meth or something? Yeah, that's that's it. Meth. They were saying... No, nah, he's, a, he's a drunk. Okay. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a drunk. I don't know what he drinks, but... Well... So what are we gonna do? We gonna dig in? Ready I'm dig? ready. Come on, cause I know you hungry. You first. You first. You first. Pick a taco with a prize. You make them come tumble down. <laughs> oh gosh. Mm. Oh my god. But yeah. Yeah, he he got arrested a couple times for the, his whole drunken behavior. It's so interesting because his mom kind of enables him. Well, I think the very first time he got arrested, it was dismissed, or they didn't have a they had a lack of evidence or something or mm -hmm. whatever. But yeah, there were no charges brought against him. So let me tell you, this episode, I was like, "What the hell did he just say?" So Tracy been missing for like six days, right? Two days. Huh? Just two. No, it said six days on there. It did? That's what I got. No. Nope. Ah. Tracy missing for six days. She on a crackhead binge. But what got me was when he was telling the story to his ex-wife. Um. Mm. His boss. Yeah, it's his boss and his ex-wife. The mother of his children. And she seemed to have some sense. They got kids? I think so. I think they had kids together. I don't know why I never remember hearing that. Yeah, I think so. I, I could be wrong, but I could have sworn that, yeah. Hey, I mean, you've been doing more investigating than me. No, nah, I mean, I've just been off. So, I mean, I've watched, you know. But he's sitting there telling, which I find weird. Number one, you work for your ex-wife. And you're having a level of conversation with your ex-wife about your current wife. Well, when you're a drunkard, I mean, I don't think he really has a choice. So he's like sitting there telling her like, yeah, I was laying in Tracy's lap while she do some crack. I literally had to rewind that twice. <clears throat> I'm like, did he say what I think he said? Mm -hmm. No. <clears throat> Analyze what he said though. He said she wanted to cuddle. Mm -hmm. I laid in her lap. Mm -hmm. She did some crack. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. Now, have you ever known anybody do crack in your presence before? Hell no. Okay, would you go to sleep? No. Okay. I'd be on high alert with my purse, with my credit card, with my keys, with what my that, phone. What did I tell you about him? He's a drunk. He's at home. He gets sloshed. He, he, it, drug abuse is nothing new to him. Yeah. I was thinking he's so in love mm -mm. that he excused her behavior. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. He used a crackhead activities. Because he's a crackhead. 
That's a drunk. <laughs> and when she did Why her crack. Why are you calling him a crackhead, though? Because it's obvious. I mean, it's really obvious. Like, But I will say, he has a childlike behavior to him. <clears throat> that's kind of like you feel for him. Mm -hmm. You know, because he's so transparent that he's telling his own self. About him giving all the money? Oh, just everything. I mean, think about it. He told the story to he told the story to his mama. He told the story to his ex-wife about how she, you know she got on that booyaka. <laughs> then she like, but she didn't do to me that bad because she left me a hundred dollars in my wallet and I had two hundred dollar bills and she only took one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then she burnt out with his phone and the rental car that is gonna cost him twenty one thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm just like, man, you didn't get that extra insurance coverage for $10 a day? The crackhead? <laughs> no. No. Quit. You know when you get a rental car? Mm -hmm. They offer you $10 a day coverage? Oh, he got it. I don't think he But there's it. no extra coverage for crackhead incentives. <laughs> I'm just telling you now. Well, and then, you remember he said he wouldn't call the police on her? No. <clears throat> remember, the ex asked him. Mm-hmm. We can get every, we can we can make all this all right right now, but you gotta tell it. And he's like, I'm not gonna tell it. Yeah, and that's why I was like, wow, he he got that graveyard love for her. Hmm. I I feel like he loved her just that much, or he loved the idea of being in love, if that makes sense. Hmm. I mean, I know he's got his issues and his problems, and honestly. I'm like, damn, everybody on Love After Lockup got a drinking problem now that you said that. Oh, yeah, but listen, though. I was like the Takashi 6 9 Everybody in love until someone gets in trouble with a felony. <laughs> but <laughs> I know this ain't got nothing to do with Love and After Lockup. And someone tell it. And someone will tell it. How long do you think Takashi going to get? Over or under? Over or under what? 20? Give it 15. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm so crazy. Mm -hmm. And if y'all don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about Takashi 69. Don't have nothing mm -hmm. to do with love after lockup. No, yeah, no. Yeah. He, well, he be, you know, she got to find somebody to date him for the next 15 years at least then. Jay. Who? Jay. Jared? Jade. Who's Jade? The baby mama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't she ain't gonna make it. You know you? No. She ain't gonna make it. <laughs> but. What about Sarah? <laughs> I'm still on Clint. Poor Clint mama. She like, just a know the damn marriage. She like, I love her. Annul the marriage. Mm. You don't want to annul the marriage. You don't want to call the mm -mm. She didn't take a whole car. She didn't took all your money except for a hundred dollars. She left that raggedy ring you bought her. Yeah. This dude drove through a whole open field, like a couple of miles, and crashed into a storage yard. Clint. Yeah. Dang. He ain't about to call no laws on no steal no little car. Oh, so you saying because of his record, he ain't going to call. Yeah, he a soldier. He ain't going to do all that. Mm. He's a condition drunk. He know. Stuff happens. So what about your favorite couple, though? Who? Lizzie and Scott. The booze is looking right. Lizzie. Oh, you like that cle cleavage? No, I don't like the cleavage. Fuck the cleavage. I mean, Wait, I'm talking about said, the way the boobies were sitting up. No, you said the boobies were sitting right. Right. I don't know nothing about her cleavage. I don't know nothing about her cleavage. But but, but she got some tick old bitties. But you, you enjoyed looking at them. No, I Are mean they're looking? out there like for everybody to see. It's not just me. Them things mean for everybody. Obviously, she said she got eight hundred thousand dollars worth of monies. Boy for people living you know, she was trying to get her best life in jail. Did Lizzie run down her trick car and her how she run them tricks? She's a straight prostitute. Who are you talking to? You can only trick on people that want to be tricked. Oh my god, but Sky is definitely a big ass trick. She ran it down. She ran the numbers, how she get down. 
Man, how her game goes. Yeah. She could have sold that to penitentiary.com and them hoes could have got straight paid. And then she probably just pimp men and women. You know what I mean? Or trick them. Hmm? It's three for me. Hey, look. Hmm? And it is on behind him. I only got two. I'm on dose. Mm -hmm. I have one regular and one Dorito. But, um, I don't know. I'm like, <clears throat> Jazz goes so hard <clears throat> about her mom being with Scott. <clears throat> I was like, uh, in, uh, Love After Lock of Sav Savage and this Diction, I posted on Facebook. I'm like, she act like she wants Scott. Who? The daughter, because she's so bang, she bang on Scott so <laughs> tough. I'm like, girl, sit your little narrow behind down somewhere. Nah. Her feelings are mad hurt. I'm like, whatever. You I get it from her point of view. The little daughter. Yeah. She be trying to like hold on to her mom. Like, my mom is like, you know, trying to be good and this and this. I mean, I don't know how. Her mom ain't even trying to be good, though. No, she, her mom is a whore. Told you, she told you, game. She's like, I can find somebody to buy my dress. Mm hmm. She said that. And if it wasn't going to be him, it was going to be somebody else. And it was other people. He wasn't the only one sending her money. Scott sent her 90000 Right. He So he probably the biggest trick. No. No? 10% no. of the 800000 she said she got. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. I wonder why she went to him then. Mm. And then you're proud of your numbers, like. I mean, a whore usually is. I'm not just trying to say it like that, but like, a girl that's like into prostitution, mm -hmm. she's like a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's proud of that. Like, I tricked this many dudes and do what I want them to do. Kind of like strippers. She's selling dreams. Mm-hmm. Cause she engaged to him, and she don't plan on having sex with Scott. You can kind of tell. Mm -mm. Oh my god! How many chocolates have you? Three. Three. You gonna go for four? Mm. Uh, I know it's a lot of tacos. Mm, a lot of fucking tacos. I mean, it's a lot of tacos. Sorry, swear to God. <laughs> You're trying. I am. I, I give you credit for that. You did really good tonight on your show. I think I said two bad words. You did, that was really good. Mm. These tacos are bomb.com. They are. But tomorrow you're going to braid my hair for me? I can do it tonight even. I can braid your hair. As soon as we finish Love After Lock. My thing about Scott and Lizzie is this. They're my favorite couple. Mm-hmm. Because I know what Lizzie is. It's like I know what Clint is. Well, what do you mean? Like, because he's a drunk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. However. You all right? Lizzie thinks she's going to get over somehow. I don't know what Lizzie's thinking. Because she got a daughter that really ain't down with Scott. She like, get rid of No, nah, but her daughter's really down with her. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I mean, for real. Her daughter's like, look. You want this one? Go ahead. No, babe. Go ahead. You want to eat it? Mm-mm. Why I'm not? Put that right there because you like those. Mm. It don't make me no difference. Those are actually the, the shells. Ooh. Ooh, you leaving some meat behind. Mm -mm. We have the meats. But, um, you know, she, I, I get the daughter love her, but. Where does love and a child? Lizzie just got out of jail. She trying to get her come up. I mean, but, but my whole thing about Liz and her daughter is her daughter's going to stay in her daughter's place. Mm -hmm. her, daughter, her daughter's acting a little too protective. Like, she'll know the whole deal. Well, she don't accept her mom for who she is. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Like you said, this is all, you know, this is how Lizzie get down. Lizzie you know if she gotta act that role, be that part, be that, sell that dream. Right. And like when that Jazz saw that ring, she was so pissed. She's like, "Oh my God, what is mm -hmm. that?" Mm -hmm. 
Or if she made no bones about it to Scott's face, that she don't care for him. Because he's an enabler. And hey, remember when Lydia was in confession? She was like, what the hell? Like, why are you doing that to my mom? Like, why would you do that to her? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But what she doesn't realize is that he's broke. He can't buy her no more dope. I know. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time for she reach out and t- and to mm-hmm. one of them tricks. Mm-hmm. What? What do you think going to happen? What do you think? Look. What that mean? My house off. Oh. No, but I mean, like, what do you think is going to happen? Oh, to Lizzie? Yeah, with Lizzie. Like, what you think she gonna do? Cause, cause Scott broke. Mm. For real, for real? For real, for real. Like, what you think the outcome is gonna be? Like, she took his ring and stuff, but that don't mean she gonna walk down the aisle with him. Or that don't mean she gonna stay with him. She gonna sell that cap. Because she can do just like Tracy. She is going to be to the highest bidder. Oh, we didn't even do a thumbnail, y'all. I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, my God. I know. This a, it's a catastrophe over here. Here, you know what I'm going to do? Mm-mm. Got these paper towels right here. Oh, we ain't even talked about Marciano. I was so disappointed in Marciano. Why was you disappointed in Marciano? My whole point to them two was... I thought he was a little bit more like not a lame. He's a lame to you. Yeah. And then, he, then, then it's like, okay. Like then he pulled out that flask. Yeah, he was drinking you like sick. Middle, I told you he was a drunk. You Did I tell you all that last video? Yeah. You, 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 you called it. I, called it. I said you started you, up with him, man. He got a drug problem or something. How you in the middle of the desert? You ain't gonna, eat, you ain't gonna eat another one. I don't think I came. <laughs> I win though. <sighs> You won the uh, top of the noodle challenge. Oh, wait. You wait. know, tacos are my damn thing. I know. I might eat one more. That's oh, my I... God. So. If I eat one more, I'm going to sleep. You're going to do my hair morning. Okay, it's whatever. What time you got to get up in the morning? I got to be at 930. Oh, okay. So, but um, I digress. Yeah, so, so okay. So, Britt, Brit finally, they, uh, they always out in the desert. You know what? When I'm in Vegas, I, you ain't gonna catch me outdoors like that. I'm gonna film you in the desert. I'll be like, what are you doing out here? I'm Marciano and Brit. <laughs> like, okay. Wait, come here. Put that evil man over right there. A taco. Mm-mm. A taco. Mm-hmm. Part of the taco. But, um, no, uh, every time they show them, they like go for a walk in the desert. I'm gonna tell you, Vegas so damn hot, you <laughs> ain't wanting to see the outdoors. You gonna be inside one of them casinos, them hotels, or them... But well, what I tell you about Marciano drinking? I said he was on something. You said that, but I think all these people got issues. So, okay, think about it. So, okay, so Brent finally tell them, right? Tell him about Amanda. And and you didn't have somebody at the the spot, like the hotel. The spot, Momo, no, no. The Momo, because I can't take you back to my apartment because you got a record. Or so he said. Or so he said, or he might got evicted, or who knows? Who knows? I mean, right. for real. And you know what I really think? Because you know what? When you normally get released, you can't leave that state. True. He live in Cali. She in Nevada. That's where she she was released in Las Vegas. But you know what I think it was? I think he told, because if you don't get released, you got to give him a permanent address. Right. My thing is, yes. Marciano, Marciano went and got him an apartment in Nevada mm-hmm. to make sure that she wasn't going to rob him blind, right? Because uh-huh. he's a little dope head, his damn self. And he wanted to go out there and make sure that she was going to mind. Because he all, pretends like he's so pious and so smart. Here he's reading the newspaper and shit. Yeah. I mean, this dude right here is a straight up drunkard. Like, he's out there in the desert. Who drinks liquor in the damn heat like that? I, I like my vodka. I like it. But you'll never catch me drinking no vodka in the damn heat. You won't catch me walking outside in the desert either, taking long walks. With a flask. Hold on. Do you walk around with a flask? No. Nope. Who walks around with a flask? Nope. And I'm not going to be out in that heat. I'll be like, it's hot out Not here. in the heat. Not in Nevada heat. Nevada heat is a dry heat. I don't know if y'all have been to Vegas, but the last thing you want to do is be outside. And the first thing you want to do is be inside. Now, now, I'm going to tell you another thing. The very first thing, if you told a dude, a real dude, Yo, chick like chicks, you gonna be kind of like, well, how can I go lunch with? How can I? Yeah, how can I? How can I make this my own thing? You know right, what I'm mean? saying? Right. He ain't never said that once. Mm-mm. 
He ain't even every time they bring dude, that's why I think he's got like either tendencies on the low. Tendencies. Finger in the booty. Oh, oh my, allegedly. Oh. Not allegedly. Not allegedly. <laughs> I think I don't think he's on the level. I'm just being real. Mm. Because most dudes, your chick is bad, right? And she likes chicks. We got something in common. We can go do some things. Like, we could really, I mean, I might be an animal, or y'all could probably talk to me like a dog, but I'm just saying, if you ask the average guy, okay, you you like girls and I like girls. Let's make this into something. Let's yeah. find us a girl we both like. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. real. And he's ex-military, so you would have thought that would be the first thing to come to his mind. Like, I'm, a, I'm about my life. Like, I've got saving lives and doing stuff. But, you know, they live a wilder life, so you yeah, would have thought you know, that, you know. Nah, him, he's all about being pious and mind all the rules. And, and very, what he, like. What does he sound like? <laughs> sound like he didn't want the booty. Mm -hmm. To me. Mm -hmm. Now, Marciano, if you out there, you something real, you holler at your boy. Remember, his homeboy was a Navy dude. Mm -hmm. And he's a Marine. I think he's an ex-Marine. Stop it. <laughs> now, okay, hold on. Navy dude, Marine. No, that's not true. Don't say I'm that. just saying. He act like it. Allegedly. <laughs> no, nah, he ain't legend. Okay, but what about Matt, the missing tooth guy? So his homeboy Sam take him for a job interview. This is where I fault all felons, all right? Because all of us as people, we all have things that have in stopped us from realizing our best life. Right. I'm not mad at Matt for not humbling himself down to do that job. Mm -hmm. Because it's my opinion, it, that's his best clothes. He didn't want to mess them up. Right. I agree with you 100% on that. Okay, but I'm just saying it to this. I don't think he thought that was his only option in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, if I don't think that's my only option, then I may not humble myself down to that. I may not do that. Like, I got blood on me? Yeah, you, you must have nicked yourself while shaving. Oh. But my whole thing about him is, like, he must not feel like that is his only means to employment. You know what I'm saying? Because why would he, like, just, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't think he cares about a job, honestly. I think he knows he's got a solid uh, person he can depend on, which is his mother. And he knows that he'll always have a roof over his head. Now, Caitlin may be the wild card. Well, the roof right over his head, it, it, the only thing st stable in that roof over his head is, is jail. It? Well, no, but I'm saying his mom. But right? that's what I'm saying. Like, so beyond his mom is jail. All right. he knows is mom in jail. Right, right. So, right. Caitlyn, or whatever her name is, little skinny, bony ginger girl, she's like a, a the, she's a flavor of the week. And that's my thing. Like, he gonna get over that real quick. No, I mean, here's my thing about being in jail and coming out and being like, well, maybe, you know what I'm saying? Like, there'll be some stability behind that. Well, I kind of think that his drug problem is still there. Well, he's know. definitely a drunk. Hey, you must have nicked yourself good. Is bleeding good? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the, is, you need like a piece of paper or something on it. Like, it don't rub it. You don't irritate yourself. Uh-uh, uh -uh, There you go. Got <laughs> edit. But... Um, no edits. <laughs> Blood, that's man juice. <laughs> I'm just joking. So no, what I'm saying is, is that like, for him, I think that he's too caught up in... Respect, like I think that's the failure of all like ethnic men, and I think it's the, the failure of most young millennials. Respect, like you gonna respect me, you gonna respect me, but dude, you've been in jail for the last ten years. What have like, you done to get respect? Exactly, respect is only earned over a long period of time over you showing excellence. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, you're a jailbird. Like you preach don't deserve on, respect. Preach right on, now. preach on. But I'm just saying, I mean... No, I'm, but I hear you. I'm not, I'm not trying to preach. I'm just trying to tell you. No, I, you can't... I disagree with his, like, well... Thought process. I'm not finna mess up my clothes. Well, dude, if you have a job, you can buy more clothes. Well, and so here's where I'm at with it. His and it wasn't like he would fly when you got there. I mean, it wasn't like he was it, in... He was Your beach and Supreme and, like, knew it down and, like, had him some new uh, A-Force Ones on. Nah, dude, he was crummy. So here's my thing, like, for me, right... Let's say this is the only good outfit I got, right? Mm -hmm. And and 
who says the outfit is good? It's really the person that says that. Because to me, he just had a swap me t-shirt on and some jeans and some white tees or white tennis shoes, right? That weren't clean. Right. They weren't like fly white tees. They were like Yeezys or nothing. So, you know, but to him, that was a good fit, a good outfit. For right. Him. And I respect him for that because he has pride and ownership. But what I'm saying is, if this is me. If I'm living with my chick, and me and my chick, we hungry. Like, we out there, we trying to do something. I don't care if I'm in my Sunday best. Like, I'm in, like, a three-piece. You know what I'm saying? Wing tips on. They gators and everything. But this is our next meal. I might just paint that wall. Because that's real. I got We got to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I... I'm not mad at him for not doing it, though. Everybody has their own level of respect. Obviously, that was his. He wasn't going to do it. And if I knew that if something was going to come of it, I would have gone ahead and paint that wall. But if I felt like that was my last clothes and, you know. I felt like the dude that had him painting the wall was on some fraudulent bulls. Yeah. He was on some, like, I'm for real, like the the CEO. I'm the CEO. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show this convict what's up. And my thing is, you was a convict too, so why you couldn't show him a little leeway? You know because I mean? that's why. That's crabs in the bucket mentality. Mm. He was on TV. He had his 15 minutes of shine. You'll never hear from this dude again. But this dude, Matt, man, I mean, you know, his little chick and all, his moms and all, you know what I'm saying? But his failure is his own pride. Pride and ego will ruin a man every day. And I'm not saying a man shouldn't be prideful or have a certain amount of confidence. But what I'm saying is, I'm going to say it one more time. If I was sitting there, right, and it was like, okay, we, we got to eat, right? We're going to eat tonight. Mm -hmm. He didn't have no problem taking no money from his mom. He wasn't putting in the pot, he was taking out of it. I hear you. I totally hear you. I hear you. See, I ain't disagreeing with you, know, you at all. To me, I, I would have to go on and paint that wall. Like, I'd be extra careful. I'd get on my shoes, get on my, my fit. You know what I mean? I'd be careful because that's that's the job. Be right. neat and tidy for it. But right. obviously, we don't all. I'm, I'm older than these guys are too. So you know, what I mean, I come from a different yeah, generation. Yeah, because he what twenty eight. Yeah, I'm forty four. You know what I'm saying? I come from a different point in my life where you like Jay Z four four. Nah, man. I'm yeah. like I'm like yeah. I mean, that's his album. Remember four four. Yeah, but I'm just saying I'm from a different point of view because I respect these people's position, mm -hmm. but I don't respect how they hold their position. Like, they don't do it the right way. Like, you got to be like, man, you got to be hungry. Like, when you touch the town, like, whew, man, these cats is fraud. Like, they have no idea. Like, to me, like, you ain't trying to better yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I got to get to the trifecta. Oh, uh, nut. Megan. Nut. Megan. Hold on. Let me ask a stupid question. So, you know, Sarah and Nut Megan met in real life, right? I heard that they knew about each other. That's what I heard. Now, so let's go to Sarah first. Okay. So Sarah was like, my husband ain't came home. She's selling wolf tickets. She blowing up his phone. Now she got her girl Emily coming over who didn't even know y'all was married. Now she riding for you all of a sudden. I'm like, okay. And then. Come on. Come on. You, you messaging him talking about uh, the PO looking for you. Now, if you have ever been involved in some straight up like jail type activities, uh -huh. being someone that's been like in like, you know what I'm saying? Like uh -huh. involved in some straight like the police were involved. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Your PO is the police. The district attorney is the police. Uh, the police is the police. The C I mean, why would you say that? I mean, unless it was not true. Now, if Sarah knew about Megan and knew she was getting her bottom busted out, because that's what it was. He said, I'm going to tear that ass up. Didn't he say that? He did. He's going to have her gushing like Niagara Falls. And wasn't she? She told me, oh, I didn't know it was going to be like that, but it felt so... Mm. Well, you know, I'm in my robe. I'm rubbing on him. I'm loving on him. She She knew. She, she knew. She knew what? The glove. And, she was about, and he was about that life, too. Now, remember that ring in the last episode? Did, did he put a ring on his old gal, on Sarah Finger? No. But didn't he bring a whole ring on this trip? Yes. What'd that tell you? But he didn't give it to her. Why? Because <clears throat> he got that P.O. call. That's my point. If the P.O. didn't get called, he had a few more minutes. 
Because he wanted to tell her about Sarah, too. He don't have to. But he said that. Remember, he said he was going to. I know, but he don't have to. Because the thing about this show that makes it so awesome to us and about these websites, we know before what they don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. We know y'all faking the funk on a nasty dunk. You know about that white girl. And that white girl know about well, that black girl. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So it ain't like no racially charged Trump versus Obama type bull corn they're going to make this out to be. Not just say the white girl. You know, I'm not being real. Shit. I mean, y'all trying to make it feel like, well, he just said a white and then black. Well, now they Ooh. knew about each other the whole time. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing. So, you know, I was trolling on Twitter. I got, I got Sarah all pumped up because I saw you ain't won nothing. And Sarah was straight on your tip. Yeah. Tell me, well, us, us, us. She was huffing and puffing. Yeah, because you look stupid and you ain't won nothing. Because Michael ain't no prize, okay? No, he the prize. But I'm going to tell you the prize. I'm going to tell you the prize. If you a half wit and you in a competition with two dim wits, then you real smart. You know, very smart. You know what's crazy, though? So, first, she's watching this stuff as we're watching it. Now, she might have lived it, but she didn't see what he said and stuff. And now she's feeling stupid because I done posted them screenshots out there, too. Because, so first, the first episode, she was like, oh, I won. I won. That's my man. All this, right? Then you fast forward the king and the queen shirts, right? She's still riding for him, right? Then she's listening to the phone calls, hearing what he's saying. See, she wasn't privy to that information at before. that time, but right? now she's watching like we watch it. Now she feels stupid because she even put that on her last uh last week's Twitter. She like, I feel so I, I'm so embarrassed. No, uh, you're not. But, but, but she's like, it's a learning lesson. No, 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 hold on. A learning lesson was dating a man that was locked up in the first place. You got to understand there's games to be played and there's games that get you played. You got to grow up and play a grown up's game. I disagree. Like, I feel stupid. Well, do you feel stupid because you got caught? Or do you feel stupid because you in jail? It's kind of like dudes I know went to jail... Back in the day, I'd be like, dude. I'm not, but, but she didn't get Are you caught. dumb? No, no. But she got caught. She got caught up. But same thing. And your 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 business is out here in these. You yeah, because you're out here capping like you straight Captain Saber, dude. And the crazy thing is like you agreed like in you your mind it. it's cool to date somebody in jail. It is cool to date have, someone in jail. Have, have a baby with him and marry him in jail and deceive your family. So, but that's my whole point. Her her whole relationship with Deep Seated and BS. So it's no secret that when the BS comes out on TV, that it's BS. I mean, look, we've all done some things in, a, in the privacy of our own, in our own homes that we should have done in front of our families, our mothers, our fathers, or whatever, our brothers right. and sisters. Now, the difference is, do you go on social media and cap about it? No. Okay. Well, if you don't, this is where I give Megan credit. And Megan been keeping her social media on lockdown. Like, she don't want people to know who she, she is. She kind of changed her name to, she has one Twitter account, and I think the show makes her do that. But you can't find her on her other stuff. But that makes sense to me because she has a little bit of sense. I mean, she may be in love with a, a dude that's locked up, but it don't make her stupid. Being in love with a convict, y'all, is not dumb. Well, there's a lot of convicts out there, like, I'm just saying, there's a lot of people out there that have been incarcerated behind some bull corn. Well, I get that, but what I'm saying to you is this. It don't make them foul, okay? Sarah puts her whole name out there. Sarah put her whole child out there. There's parts of okay, Megan. Okay, hold on, hold on. Parts of Megan, Megan don't show because Megan probably got to work. She got a life and she can't, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to give you a parallel. I'm going to give you a parallel. What's her name? Sarah, the little white chick? Yeah. Sarah and the little girl that has lupus. Oh, Ashley on 90 Day. Yeah. Think of the camaraderie. Uh, Ashley has lupus. She's sick. She got two kids. You don't ever see them. Right. No one really knew what she did forever. Remember, we didn't know what she did. Right. But she's like, you know, just, you know, and the old dude did her dad. Dirty, dirty, right? Like a convict. Mm -hmm. But Sarah, who's dating a convict, dude really didn't do her dirty. He just really just like... Was on the call, some players type stuff. Like, 
Look, chick, I'm about to blow. Well, he never really wanted to be with her. He just be with her convenience. My so he point can exactly. His, so he can get his child, so he can see his child. And like he said, I really haven't had sex even with Sarah. He he he, he, put he the, said he said he ain't had sex with Sarah in a minute, like in a minute. But, That's what he said. But, but that, uh, he probably talked about it a minute, literally. Please. But I mean, if you out of jail, the only thing you want is some brains and some damn uh, food. And if she was willing to comply, damn, what's wrong with that? If anybody y'all been locked up for parking tickets, and you know what I'm talking about, you was locked up for a weekend, and you know you came home, and you know what I'm talking about, and you was like, damn, where's my girl at, man? And your girl show up, she's looking all sexy, coming out, you you would hold, man, it's just that time, girl. And she like, let's go to Applebee's. And you like, okay. Applebee's? You know how these old thug dudes type, you know, they ain't going to no Del Frisco's. I'm just saying, let's go to Applebee's. Let's go to uh, Chick-fil-A. I can't with you. And all of a sudden, she giving you dome in the parking lot because you've been locked up for a weekend on some damn parking tickets. <laughs> and you know how it go, man. I ain't playing with y'all. Y'all gonna look at me like I'm stupid. But I'm just telling y'all the real. Mr. Brando, Mr. Brando. Busting mm -hmm. out the band. Though. Mr. Brando is your favorite king of goo, bro. Well, y'all, y'all comment down below. Tell me what you thought of y'all know it's real. Episode of I ain't Love telling y'all. Y'all know it's real. You Love ain't... at the locker. I was just about to say you didn't sing this song. Love at the locker. You know why I didn't sing the song? Cause it wasn't warm. It wasn't warm to last two things. This episode sucked. This episode tonight? No, it was good. The last episode sucked. Now, if I was a writer for this show, I would sort of slap every writer I had because I'll tell y'all why. It's supposed to be reality. It's not supposed to be written. It's hella written. You can tell it's scripted like a bug. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. Matt, the toothless guy, I'm going to give y'all a foreshadowing right now. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Matt's going to jail. Number two. Uh, but we know that already. Remember I posted his information. He, he got. He went to jail. Got out. He got out January 3rd, 2019. Matt, you going back to jail for crack abuse? Or no, he went back to jail and he got he got he went to jail for stealing a car and something else. Tracy got released finally on the fourth of twenty nineteen in January. Okay, Tracy, she gonna find a crack man. She gonna smoke a bunch more rocks because she liked them rocks. Clint, Clint, Clint needs to go ahead and annul that marriage. Clint needs to go ahead and meet him a nice girl that's in rehab. Not a parolee. A rehab. Yeah, because he ain't, he's in parole. He's a drug addict down so. Is he in rehab? No. Nah, he ain't no rehab. I had a he needs to be. I had a photo show thumbnail too. And uh, Liz, I, as much as I want to see Liz stay with Scott, Scott, you on the outs. Well, remember, I. You broke. She, did she, I show you that Christmas, that Christmas or Thanksgiving picture and he wasn't in it? No, nah, but I already knew he was in the house when she knew he didn't have no money. You know what? That's the messed up thing about these chicks in this love after love now look shit. Look at you. You messing up the Because titles, the dudes out here really trying to love on you and they get left. And then the chicks, man, they just leave these dudes high and dry and wonder why they run amok. So I'm done with y'all. I'm done with love after lockdown for this week because it's disappointing. It's not disappointing. What it is this is... No, it was a great episode. You know what it was? It was a taste of reality for me. Because I knew that this was going to happen to these fools. I want these people to succeed. I want them to have love. But you know I think what? everybody deserves love. You know what? There's a couple things I want to say, too, before we leave. Remember that old lady with the butter face? You remember she was waiting outside the jail for dude and he, ne he never got released? Yeah. You notice how they dropped her story and never went back? Yeah, he never got dropped. He got out of jail. He can't. But, blah, 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 blah. but, but I think, too, part of that, she was being a fool. You know what I mean? Like, she was being played, and she realized it, and she stopped. She didn't want no parts of filming. Because, think about it. Like, how silly I look on TV. Yes, because, think about this. Okay? I agree. Think about this. And I think she's a social worker or something like that. But Lizzie and Scott went on for two seasons. Because Lizzie didn't get released that first season. She lied, too. And now Lizzie and Scott are in the second season. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they could have stretched her out, but I think the process she wasn't cool with. I bet you Lizzie's on Tinder. If y'all go out there and look on Tinder. Well, she on Facebook. I, I'm her Facebook friend. I'm You're her, her Facebook friend? Mm -hmm. I want to be her Facebook friend. Okay, I'll show you when we get off here. 
Uh, and on her Instagram friend. Because I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm down with Scott, and you need to treat Scott nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. You just dropped every... You owe about $100 right now to the swear jar. Yeah, $100. You owe $100 to the swear I jar. I said Treyway. No, you was every MF in the book just now. The other thing I was going to say is this show has a hard time continuing on because the stars of the show go back to jail. Yeah. So... You know, you can it's have, hard. It's hard to have an allegiance to a couple here. Well, and the thing is, you never get to to see your couple, your favorite couple again. Succeed. Yeah, I want to see one of these couples succeed. So, word on the street, allegedly, Lamar. Remember Lamar and Adrian from season one, the brother that served eighteen years in jail. Yes, he got released and Frippy. went back to yeah, and he went back to jail. Remember that. Uh -huh. So, a uh, uh, word on the street, allegedly, is he did three months in jail. Uh -huh. And then he's supposed to be released. Hmm. Now, I thought you had to serve the rest of your time. But he... Well, parole violations are all different. Yeah, so he's supposed to be released. I, this is my whole thing about love after lockdown. Because it's, it's one of my favorite... Lock up. Love after lock up. My favorite shows. Hmm. Is this Big Mouth Power... What's the other show I like to watch? Um... 90 oh, Day? 90 Day. I like 90, 90 Day. 90 Day Fiance. And 90 Day Fiance got three shows. Okay, and so my whole thing about this for all of our viewers, and I don't mean to call talk crazy to Kosh, you can edit that out. I always want to see success in the love category because I think so many people fail in it yeah. and they give up in it. You know what I'm saying? And the world needs more people. The world is full of too many people that are divorced or single or don't have someone to be with. Oh, this is what I want to tell you. Give me your hand. So there's a um, a relationship book from a gentleman that's been married for a, quite some time. Mm -hmm. And it's a brother, and he is called How to Make It Work. Mm -hmm. And so I want us to read that as a couple. His name is Tony Gaskin. Well, why don't we read it and do like a book review on it? We can, but I think we should. So I'm just saying for you and I to, because um, I think one of the biggest things in a marriage or in a relationship is communication. We have a I'll say this about our communication. We do good on easy things to communicate. Hard things to communicate, we don't do good. Right. We need to do good on all of this. We do good on love after lockup communication. And I'm going <laughs> to sign off on that shit right there. Because you can do my hair in the morning. Can you do my hair in the morning? Yeah, I told you I can do your hair tonight. I can do it in the morning. I don't want to sit up. I will say this, though. It has been a very great week. Uh, we had a lot of ups and downs. It's Super Bowl week. We're going to do some stuff about Super Bowl Sunday on our couples channel. We're also going to do the follow-up to our Mr. Brando's channel on April BB. So if y'all not out here watching us doing our thing, and uh, we think the middle of the year we're going to uh, post our portfolio for stocks, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to have some more. Uh, I, I don't know if y'all noticed, but Miss BB, read to the studio. We got these big old lights behind us. You can see us clearly. Y'all should be shouting her out majorly. She's the queen of the castle, and she does a hell of a job. And, uh, we're gonna get a 3D backdrop. Yeah, we're getting two new cameras. We're getting at least I'll, one new camera. I'll learn how to do a yeah. uh, green screen. We're gonna get one new camera, and we want to try to get one new laptop because we want you to do split screen for the other for the financial channel. Yeah, that's our goals. Like our, our 2019 is so packed, and it is so awesome. I guess that's why I want to see people succeed because we're trying to succeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with that, you know what? Uh, I've eaten way too many damn tacos. I'm like taco the hell out. Are you one of my happy pills? If I could take off this sweater and you can see all my Rolex and tattoos. Should I do it? Love after lock up. <laughs> oh. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ow! It's a wrap.